Hi, my name is Inbar. This is Loopy Pro, and I'm gonna use my latest song, Simple Remix. To talk about a few very, very important and useful things, I'm gonna jump in. All right. First, over here in the top right, control settings project-wide follow actions if you're not aware of this i might have just changed your life this is a beautiful beautiful place to visit what you can do here is set as many actions as you want as follow actions to either when you load the project meaning as soon as you open up this template anything you put on here will just automatically happen just give it a second and it's going to happen or as soon as you press play and start the clock, maybe you want things happening. Maybe as soon as you go to the next page, you want something to happen. As soon as you begin recording, finish recording, look at this long list, uh, you can make magic happen. So the top one is selecting the first clip that I'm going to record. Then I'm just being safe and muting all my inputs. I'm pressing two buttons. So these are buttons I made in order to be in the correct controller profile and in the correct foot controller bank. In my morning star, I wanna be in a certain bank. Those buttons are being pressed for me so that automatically I'm in the right place and I don't have to remember to do it. These are common for me in any project. This last one is specific to this song because I often, towards the end of the performance, turn on a delay and then I forget to turn it off and it made some funny moments. So I just have it automatically disabled so that I don't have to remember to do it. Very useful. Another thing I find very useful, as soon as I begin record, I have a follow action to select this clip. That's for cases where maybe I happen to use my hand to record a clip, but now that I'm playing, my hands aren't free anymore and I wanna use my foot controller, but I don't wanna scroll until that clip is selected and then stop it or play it or whatever, I or clear it. So it's just automatically, I can just show you, I'm just gonna press record and see the white dot appear. Press record, it's automatically selected. Now, for this clip, I also have a follow action where as soon as I finish recording, select this clip so that I'm ready with my foot controller. Anyway, so when I open up this project, ukulele is selected because that's the first clip I want recorded. All right, next, I wanna talk about these two widgets. This one that says beginning is fading out these three clips pretty slowly and I wanna show you how to fade out. What I did here is adjust parameter. The target is these three clips. The parameter is volume and I'm assigning a volume. The volume I'm assigning is whatever that is, but I'm ramping it so I can ramp it really slowly, 30 seconds or 10 seconds or whatever in between. That's what that is doing. The end is stopping almost all of my loops and only playing two of them, but it's also doing a fade out for those two clips that are playing. So again, I chose the target, the parameter is volume, assign a volume of negative infinity and ramp it very slowly. You know what? I don't want it that slow because the audience gets confused. They don't get when to clap. So I'm actually going to change that. Let's make it. Yeah, that's good. Okay, I wanna talk about my favorite thing in this project and I wanna talk it through and show you what I do. So I record the music first, then using this button, I fade it out. And then I start recording percussion. And I record four loops of percussion. What I wanna do now is call and response. It's something very common in drumming, in samba, in West African drumming. Now, I have three options, I chose the third. First option, toggle this button. The issue with that would be that when I'm soloing, I don't have a metronome in my ear, right? So I could do It's a bit risky because 
I don't have a metronome and I might, it might not sound very smooth, but that's one option. Second option, I can just press uh, play and stop, right? I could make a widget or like, or have it in my foot controller to make a widget. I could tell it to play or stop, right? Toggle. Um, let's just say all of the magenta clips. Now I have the metronome in my ear. Prakatiti, prakatakati, tak. Chuku chuku cha, chuku chu chaka cha. Prrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
please listen to my music. If you don't have Loopy Pro yet, you can use my discount code. It's in the description and be in touch. Hi everyone. I just finished editing my tutorial and realized I forgot to talk about some of my favorite things that are happening. So I'm so sorry that I'm not on video, but I want to show you. First of all, let me show you what happens when I press the beginning button. It's going to fade these three loops pretty slowly. Now, while I'm recording percussion, they're still playing. They're just at their volume is, is non-existent. So you don't hear it. This one shot when I record it is set to stop everything when I start recording, right? These are all the clips. So everything is stopping. And then as soon as I finish recording, it's bringing back the percussion, but not these clips. So let me just um, pretend I'm recording. Hey, hey, hey. See, everything is stopped. And now when I stopped recording, only these ones came back. These are now stopped and have no volume. Now I want to show you the magic that happens when I record this bass loop. So let me show you all the follow actions. When I begin recording, it's going to stop most of the percussion, but not all of it. So it's leaving just these two playing. Everything else is stopped. So it creates this very beautiful moment. And then when I finish recording, it's bringing back everything. And I mean everything. So all the music is back, all the percussion. But in order for you to hear the music, I have to bring back the volume. So I have a follow action set to bring back the volume of the music clips back to zero. And let me just demonstrate. Everything is playing and I'm going to record the bass. Now I make sure that these are back to one and now I'm recording. I play the bass. Check out what happens here as soon as I finish playing. Here we go. So the volume came up and they started playing. Now I also want to show you, sorry about my dog. I also want to show you this ending widget. I talked about it, but I just want to demonstrate. So everything is playing and I'm going to press it. Right, so everything stopped and these are fading out. And I talk about this in almost every tutorial, but for all these kinds of widgets, I always undo them by swiping up. Meaning when I swipe up on this widget, you'll see the volume coming up on these ones. Ready? When I swipe up on this one, let me just take this down. When I swipe up on this one, their volume will come up. So I always make sure I have an easy way to undo these kind of complex actions. I highly recommend doing that. If you make a mistake while playing, or maybe you're just rehearsing and you're trying to rehearse that same part, it's just very, very useful. Okay, so now I'm done for real. And again, thank you so much. Have a beautiful day.